If you've been with us uh, for one of our live shows, uh, especially on this Thursday, since this is when we're recording this podcast in particular, we've been talking a little bit about a new spirit, uh, well, completely new to us. I don't, know how long us. I don't know how long it's been around. Uh, I don't know if it's one of those things like, oh my God, they didn't know about that? Some 800 years, but it's only kind of regaining popularity lately, so. Yeah, and especially mm-hmm. since is, this one is uh, from Texas, we always kind of initially shy away from things from Texas. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm very excited. Uh, so a friend of the show gave this to you, a sample of it, I should say. Correct. Uh, and ha- what do you say? You call it a handshake? Yeah, that's what they call it when okay. it's like they give you a little two ounce pour or something yeah. like that, like we had uh, the other week when Jab sent us a couple whiskeys. This is a handshake of... Uh, again, a tequila-esque spirit. Esque. Esque. Yes. Uh, for this, give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are AboutBeverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the Desert Door Oak Aged Texas Sotol. There you go. Uh, 100 proof, 50% ABV. Uh, they do make two other different kinds of this. One of them is a, I think it's a 40, 40%. Yeah, 40%. Uh, and then I don't know what the other one is, if that one's a little more pricey. This one seems to be right around 50 bucks, depending on where you find it. Yeah. Could be a little more, could be a little less. Uh, I was surprised to find when I did a search when we were looking for the price, quite a lot of these out there, like uh, in different, like I said, again, yeah. different price ranges. Th- this one, like I said, kind of right in the middle price-wise. Uh, a few of the other ones uh, can go up to 80 85 $90. Um, but so what exactly is this plant? So I, I referenced tequila. That's not 100% true because that's just kind of the process is tequila like. But the plant is completely different. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it is a uh, plant that is grown in the, in the desert, uh, though, and it grows wild in the desert, which is really a cool thing. It's been used for centuries um, by people uh, for a variety of applications, uh, for tools, and, and they've obviously made fermented beverages out of it, which is what we've got here. Uh, but it's very spiny, um, and they'll. Uh, but it, but it the way it, why it is similar to uh, like a tequila, or or like a the, the plant is similar to like the agave is that they harvest that, uh, they pull those spines off, and then they take that the the middle part of that, and then in this case they steam it, and then press the juices out of it. So it's it's similar in in process, but not the same thing. And the fact that you know once again it's not the same type of plant, but. Definitely can be in that in that ballpark. The pro- so, yeah, the mm, process is yeah. kind of like the actual way that they uh, extract. But this I'm is very a spirit excited from the Sotol. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They they say to recommend obviously this one in particular since it's the oak age version. They say to sip it like we are. You can put it over an ice cube if that's what you want to do, or even replace it into most of your favorite uh, whiskey esque cot- cocktails. Yeah. They talk about an old fashioned, which would probably be a great idea. It kind of you know would probably bump up uh, some of the flavors in here. Uh, going that route but they mention any other cocktail as well so this this i am super excited we've talked about this but how long have you had this now i have be honest probably five or six months yeah could be maybe that's a little bit high but yeah a friend of the show fits who if you've been with us for many years on our podcast you'll realize that he uh was the provider of uh 10 scotches for us when we did that podcast that's in the archives that's all audio that's all audio uh, in the archives that was great and uh amazing podcast i'm able to uh be working with him again and uh uh so yeah so we we thank fitz for this uh, for this new experience because after doing this many years we have we don't always get to find something that's completely new to us mm-hmm. and this is so very excited mm. uh definitely you can tell the oak aging it's kind of got that honey kind of quality yeah. to it. Nice little, little coloring to yeah. it. Um, I don't see anywhere on here. If they say exactly how long this has been aged. If uh, you work for desert said, door and want to tell us no. Oh, do you know? I think it says a, a year, approximately a year in virgin white Oak barrel. Oh, there you go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't write anything then down here. No more comments. <laughs> Unless there's more to know. There could be more to know. Let's yeah. I really like this aroma. It's very unique. I'm having a little trouble putting my finger on all the flavors or sense the, that I'm getting there definitely is like Oak or, or some sort of, you I know, the, the wood is go, coming in there. Yep. There's a vegetable kind of coming through like a, you know, the plant, but there's also, and it took me like a lot of, a lot of sniffs going back in. It reminds me of like a well seasoned steak. There is like something a little bit mm. beefy about it on there. And it might be because of the wood chips, like hickory, like I'm thinking hickory or cedar or something like, like that kind of like, you know, okay. those kind of things coming through. And like when you first put it on a steak, sometimes there's just that little waft of it's like meat juice. And like, I know this is weirdly, but it just hit me like as we were about to like start talking and I was like, okay, I think that's, that's what I'm getting. But yeah, that with, and it, and it's different than tequila, like I said, but there is like a vegetable kind of quality to it. Well, those other things, what are, I get, well, I, the alcohol hit me a couple of times. It did. Yeah. Um, but, um, 
it's kind of a younger whiskey I, aroma where that yeah, kind of hits you a little yes, bit. Yeah. I get the, and I, I get the oak. I also get like almost like a, a little sweet and almost like a little gin, almost like a ginger ale's not, but almost like a, a, a sweetened ginger kind of just very light note with that. But with the other things too, the little bit of herb, um, uh, but it, it, yeah, it's, it's herb. It, yeah. That's, it's, yeah. It's, it's odd. It's that kind of those. Cause maybe, maybe it's like the garlic that like, yeah. maybe it's more of that stuff than the sip, but like those kind of herbs coming together where it's like pepper yeah. and garlic and that kind of stuff coming together. I, that's, it's that's actually really cool. Aroma. Yeah. It's odd. Cause there's, there's, it's not like a lot of depth necessarily, but there's a lot going on. Yes. Yeah. That's why it's kind of so, hard to discern. So yeah. I'm very excited for the taste. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Pretty smooth. Yeah. Little spice. Yep. Mostly in the taste, though, I'm getting kind of a balance of that, like, not quite as nuanced as the aroma was. It's very much to me, it's like a combination of, like, the vegetable and, like, oaking, like, wood. Uh, yeah. Like, those two things together. Fairly smooth. I thought it might have a little more sweetness to it, but it doesn't seem to. It's a little more toward the savory um, with with what's there. But overall, a little, little, little plain kind of on the palate, at least to me. Yeah. Um, night, the viscosity is actually kind of nice, though. The body is actually kind of nice. It is good. I it's well olive oil quality to it. It's a little um yeah, the, there is like a hot sort of spiciness on the mm-hmm. front of the tongue. Um I do still like get hot like, like cinnamon or bit, pepper or like like cinnamon, but okay. not and so I do get a little sweet and I do still oh, get okay. a little bit of that and once again what I'm describing as ginger might be like some sort of other herby mm. type quality. Okay. So there is some still like a little bit like this almost had like a a drop of a ginger beer in it or something. Like oh, that. okay. Uh, just, just like the tiniest no, whisper, but that's, that's what I'm, I get from that. But it's, I mean, it's good. I, 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 I would, I'd like to now also try the, the, the plane, the, the non, you know, the way it's made. Yeah. Um, just, just to see what that's like to see then what was there, the trend, or maybe it just is a very neutral base that, well, that's what I'm kind of, a lot of flavor. That's to, what I'm so. wondering. You almost need a sodal flight. Is that what you're saying? A sodal, a sodal flight. A sodal flight. <laughs> that's when you go in alone. Oh, wait, that's a solo flight. Flying no, sodal. That's yeah, flying sodal. You're flying yeah, sodal? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm flying sodal tonight. Yeah, the aroma to me now, and I keep going back to it, I I, I agree with everything. <laughs> of course I did, because I said it. <laughs> I agree with everything that I thought in the aroma. That is still there. But the, to me, then, the taste, because of that, when I kind of got excited for some of the things I was getting in that uh, melange of, of aromas, yeah. is is not quite it's there in the taste. Pulled back. Definitely pulled back. Yeah. It's kind of, it's, it's again, it's not that it's bad. I don't know if it's $50 good to me when thinking about other things. I know this is always such a terrible thing. I'm not going to say any other things to compare it to, but when I think of other things that I could get for that price right. that have more going on in them, I don't know if I would pick this one again. I'm glad to have had yeah. it. I want to explore some more. Yes. Um, I don't know what the price winds up being different when you get some of those other ones, but like this one, uh, like I said, yeah. in particular, I think it's definitely worth a shot. If it's something you're interested in, you've never had it before. And yeah. that's not, you Try know, every, everybody's budgets are going to be different. If that's not something you're like, like, yeah, 50 bucks. Like, well then, yeah, I definitely recommend trying it just because it's different. Yeah. I would also be interested to see how it does taste in some other whiskey based type cocktails, particularly in old fashioned where some of that stuff might kind of come through. Um, or, or, you know, that it might be able to shine maybe a little more if you added a little bit of sweet or added some bitters to it. Maybe that would kind of yeah. kick up some of those other flavors, but, uh, that, uh, kind of remains, but we uh, appreciate, uh, Fitz very much for giving us, uh, the sample of this to, to try. It's, uh, once again, his generosity has, has demonstrated itself as always. Uh, but if you guys are looking for any of the other spirits or waters or anything we have ever tried on a podcast, sodas, anything, uh, you can find that obviously at aboutbeverage.com or video wise on YouTube. Anything we've ever done for the video world uh, is up there, especially our latest things. If you want to hit the subscribe button, you'll never miss out on a bit of content, whether it is the uh, things that I do throughout the, the week with gameplay stuff or, you know, when we're doing our podcasting on Thursday evenings. It's true. Uh, if you only want audio, that is also a solid option. iTunes, Spotify, uh, Google Podcast, whatever your favorite podcasting app is, please go take a look. Uh, and if they don't have About Beverages on there, maybe search for it or let us know if it's not there. And we'll try and figure out how to get it on there because it is can be goofy sometimes, can be a little <laughs> goofy. But while you're searching for other things, guess what? Those four pillars? The four pillars social now. Social media, four Quattro pillars. pillars. <laughs> uh, which for us are threads, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is the one that we use most often to keep you up to date on what is going on here at About Beverages. Like earlier this evening when I tweeted that we were about to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages, which we do most Thursday evenings, uh, depending on your time zone. Uh, our time zone is 430 when we start. So then if you're on the East Coast, that'll be at least this time of the year, 630. And uh, if you're on the Pacific Coast, that'll be 330. Yep. So uh, Greenwich but- Mean Time don't even know nah, figure it out Greenwich yourself kind time no um <laughs> greenwich violence <laughs> that's when we get together we hang out we try some beverages and uh and have some fun fun times chatting about whatever happens to pop into our brains or pop onto our table actually uh also throughout the week andrew's going to keep you up to date on what he is doing in the gaming world and what refreshing or otherwise beverage uh he will have as he is doing those things so for all the latest at about beverages follow us on twitter but as we always say whether we like it or not you should give it a shot <laughs>